Hello and welcome to my online portal of chemistry, Kemalim. This website is designed for BSc chemistry students. In future, most of the topics will also be covered from second PUC syllabus to help the students of second PUC also. Today we are going to discuss molecular orbital structure of benzene which is a part of second semester chemistry BSc syllabus which comes under the chapter aromatic hydrocarbons molecular formula of benzene is C6H6 all the six carbon atoms of benzene undergo sp2 hybridization if you want to understand the structure of benzene you have to first understand the structure of ethene which is C2H4 let us first discuss briefly the structure of ethene in ethene both the carbon atoms undergo sp2 hybridization what is sp2 hybridization if you look at the electronic configuration of carbon in ground state it is 1s2 2s2 2p2 it contains four electrons in the outermost shell but only two electrons present as unpaired electrons but carbon atom is tetravalent it forms four bonds to explain this we have to understand hybridization so in case of the hybridization the carbon atom which is containing six electrons out of these six electrons one of the electron from 2s orbital is promoted to the higher energy level in the excited state now it is containing four unpaired electrons in the outermost shell but all the four electrons are not in the same energy level only three electrons are present in higher energy level and one electron is present in lower energy level so that's why the mixing up of the orbitals takes place the orbitals 2p x 2p y 2p z and 2s all the four electrons are mixed up to give rise to four electron four orbitals hybrid orbitals it is called as sp3 hybridization but whereas in case of sp2 hybridization only two orbitals from 2p level and one orbital from 2s level are mixed up to give rise to the hybrid orbitals which are known as sp2 hybrid orbitals but whereas pz orbital remain unhybridized present in the same energy level now let us discuss the formation of ethene the carbon atoms which is containing the sp2 hybrid orbitals overlap to form sp2 sp2 sigma bond overlap sigma bond cc sigma bond now two remaining sp2 hybrid orbitals of each carbon atom overlap with the s orbitals of hydrogen to form two ch bonds on each carbon atom but whereas in case of the sp2 hybridization it is containing three orbitals hybrid orbitals apart from that it is also containing one pz orbital which is unhybridized above and below the, below the ring below the plane of the molecule so these orbitals overlap sideways so these are the orbitals which are above and below the plane of the molecule so these orbitals will overlap sideways so once the overlapping sideways lateral overlap takes place so this lead to the formation of a pi molecular orbital that is pi bond so with this we are able to explain 
the formation of four bonds in case of ethene molecule for each carbon atom and similar is the structure for benzene so in case of benzene in case of ethene these molecular orbitals are shown above and below the plane of the, the molecule that is molecular orbitals two lobes now if you go to the structure of benzene the sp2 hybrid orbitals of each carbon atom will overlap with the sp2 hybrid orbital of another carbon atom to form sp2 sp2 <coughs> sigma bond cc sigma bond so this way all the six carbon atoms sp2 hybrid orbitals will overlap to form cc sigma bonds and this will lead to the formation of a regular hexagonal ring now apart from this sp2 sp2 overlap it is also containing each carbon atom is also containing the third sp2 hybrid orbital and these sp2 hybrid orbitals of all the six carbon atoms are going to be overlapped with the s orbitals of hydrogen to form ch bonds so likewise there are six ch bonds are formed leading to the formation of a regular hexagonal ring so in case of this bond angle 120 degrees cc bond angle or even ch bond angle is 120 degrees because all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so these carbon atoms are also having a pz orbital above and below the ring these are going to overlap sideways to form pi molecular orbitals which are delocalized throughout the ring they are not localized between two carbon atoms to explain and then to represent two structures possible so these are the two structures possible with the alternate single bond and double bonds let's recap what we have done so far we have discussed the structure of benzene to understand the structure of benzene it was necessary to understand the structure of ethene then we went back to basics and then discussed briefly to understand the structure of ethene it was necessary to understand sp2 hybridization again we went further back to know what is sp2 hybridization of carbon but when you when you want to write the structure of benzene in the examination you need not to write this information this information is given as an extra information to make you understand so you have to write only the molecular structure of benzene i hope you have understood the structure of benzene based on molecular orbital theory thank you very much